This is also developing tonight. Philadelphia Police Department's major crime unit looking into a number of car vandalism cases in the city where a group is swiping all four wheels, tires, and rims in as quick as five minutes. Investigators say there were several cars hit over the weekend, and Kelly, one of those victims, has a warning about something she unknowingly left inside her glove box. This is surprising. Yes, yeah, so Shiva, we're talking about wheel lock keys. So if you have wheel locks, there's a key uh, that matches that special lug nut to unlock it. And it's very likely sitting in your glove box. You may not know it's there. Well, police say the people behind the crimes know it's likely there. They're smashing windows to get to them and then stealing wheels. Yeah, it was absolutely nuts. Isabella, who asked that we only use her first name, is bracing herself for the price tag to come back on fixing this. She went out to get into her Toyota Corolla parked on North 4th Street near Germantown Avenue, only to realize she wouldn't be going anywhere. Her car in plastic crates with all four wheels gone. That initial me seeing the tires just gone, I broke down crying. So my lug nuts were everywhere on the ground. Um, they were, it was just scattered everywhere, glass everywhere. Um, when I was picking all of it up, this one looked different. I had no idea what this was. She says she quickly learned the person or people that smashed her passenger side window were likely looking for her wheel lock key. That's the tool used to remove the wheel lock. It's a special lug nut intended to prevent theft. It was in a, literally in a bag from the dealership. I, I didn't even know it was in my glove box. Philadelphia Police Department's Major Crimes Unit tells Fox 29 it's a tactic they see often with these thefts. And they are investigating nearly 50 cases in and around Juniata East since late last summer and cases in and around Center City that fit a different pattern. The 16th District alone, which includes Northern Liberties, saw at least 19 since November. A neighbor provided Fox 29 this picture of a vehicle at 3rd and Girard on Saturday. I actually thought that maybe it was done on purpose, maybe like someone lived here and they were getting repairs done but I had no idea that someone actually stole someone's rims and tires. I think it's horrible. They stole all four rims and tires of mine. Isabella took to TikTok to urge people to hide the wheel lock keys somewhere else. It can prevent it happening again you know like if that tool wasn't in the glove box I don't think they would have taken tires and that's why I wanted to help other people know because I don't want to happen to anybody else. So police tell me for the cases in and around Juniata, they have identified two people they believe are responsible and they're working on getting arrest warrants. They expect some developments in that uh, in the next few days. But if you have any information or video of these crimes, call police. All right, Kelly, thank you.